Welcome one and all to the one and only Radio Ratanga. They say that there is no man that is an island. Yeah, my friends. Success in any endeavor depends on people pulling together towards a common goal. Teamwork divides the task and multiplies the success. So we should help each other when we can. With solidarity, you will achieve more than by bickering and undermining others at every turn. Friends in Ratanga and Elsewhere, there we go. Morning, Doctor. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Dr. Molai. Good morning. Good morning, Good Dr. Morning, Dr. Mulai. Um, Good morning, Doctor. Moreover, where's my point, my schedule? Uh, it's normally right here. You can't be serious. Unbelievable, I can't find anything around here. Can't you keep the files in order? Good records are the foundation of this whole center. Mulai, you okay? Is there a problem? This is not a health center. It's a pandemonium. Yeah, yeah. I want you to assemble the team immediately. What's wrong? I have no idea. Where is John Paul? It is day off, doctor. We really have to get our papers and files in order. Do you hear me? The center is going to grind to a halt if something doesn't change. Be more professional. Yes, the same goes for our blood stock. It's so disorganized, it's affecting our work. And we also need defibrillators and new pathograms so we can monitor the patients. I hear what you all are saying, but what I'm talking about is professionalism. You all need to be better yourselves. But we are doing our best. I'm sure we will. Yesterday, I saw your daughter in this very room. She has no business being here, Kosa. And you should know that. I want us to draw up a list of all authorized personnel. I also want some system to keep track of punctuality and absences. You are too soft on your team. You need to expert more from yourselves. We need to be a real team. Do you understand? There are too many divisions and cliques. Yeah. I'm sorry I was a bit hard on you earlier before. I understand. <laughs> Don't apologize, you are right. We need to do better with what we have. Redouble our efforts in order to get up to level 3 standards. It's all too late back here. Our backs are against the war in terms of finances. But we need to train midwives, build community outreach, put Nanta care so we can visit young mothers and their newborns at home. And I know you need the manager for that. You can't lose art. It will work out. When I started working here, I was confident I could improve it. But I think I have failed. Come in. Uh, uh, doctor... It's about my family planning program. As a matter of fact, I wanted hey, to... Yeah, you spoke to me. It is a great idea, but we just don't have the budget for it. Yes, which is why I wanted to offer to decorate the room myself. We need you doing consultations here. Don't spread yourself too thin, my dear girl. What do you think, Yayi? Yes, but it's also important to invest in prevention. Uh, you know I have to go right now. As a son, you can take today to try and sort that room out. But if it takes longer, let's forget about it. Yes. Okay, thanks. 
is in a terrible mood. It's weird to see him like that. He is going to meet the Earth Center's board members in a little while. He's just a little nervous, hmm? Oh, I really hope he doesn't get tired of working here. Hi, John Paul. Excuse me, I know it's your day off, but I really need your help. Okay, thanks. See you soon. <laughs> Watch out, clumsy. Look who is talking. I'll paint you if you are not careful. Oh, you yeah? regret it. <laughs> Hello, John Paul. I thought it was your day off today. Oh, yeah. You could at least have told me you were coming in. Aisha, you are a lifesaver. We have to open this place all by this afternoon. And it is a lot of work. Come on. Take this. Your bag. I'll do the cleaning and that will speed things up. Really? Hello. I'm so proud of you. What the hell are you doing, you idiot? Hey, don't take that tone with me. Well, you shouldn't come around my place uninvited again, ever. What were you hoping? To find my girl alone? I am warning you now. Keep her out of this, okay? How did you explain my little visit? I told her you wanted to buy a car, obviously. Unfortunately, she believed it. So you better don't screw it up. Ah. So what do you want to tell me? You have to give me your word that you won't talk to the police about those talk the other day. The cops can't know that I know them. Do you understand? But I already okay. gave my word, eh? Okay? Eh? Can we wrap this up once and for all, okay? I have got an important meeting to get to. Come on. Don't you boss me around. Whatever. You think you are the only one with important things to do? You have to come back for your blood test. Let's say Thursday. And be on time, okay? I see. Um, okay. But tell me, will the family planning center be open? It is really great that someone is thinking about us for once. That is a very nice thing. For now, it's nothing special. Really, it's just an, an old room they've repainted. Hardly impressive. Ah, well. Okay, for Thursday then. And I really hope that next time you take proper records from my consultation, eh? What's that? Yeah, because last time you didn't even take any notes. None. Not even my blood pressure. And actually, another midwife here told me you were meant to note all that down. It's called a pathogram. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. You are telling me that? Do you have any idea to deliver five babies in one shift? And do you think we have time to write a damn novel? Get out of here! Pathogram. Oh, yeah, that looks hey, pretty good. Costa. You see? It's nothing like the old FP room. Coming to help out, everyone else has already lent a hand. You think a new few posters will change a thing? We can only try. Uh -huh. uh, uh, Can't join us? Everyone else has gotten involved today. It's a shame you are cutting yourself off from the rest of the team. I'm going for lunch. I need some more energy for my consultations. Given how all of you are busy putting up silly posters. Really? Are you coming with me? <sighs> We've got loads of work to do. Right. Uh, please, officer. I have been waiting for ages. Could you interview me now? Otherwise, I can come back tomorrow. You'll be summoned for today. We have to finish with your body first. Well, he's hardly my friend. Listen, take my deposition now. It should be quick. I have got nothing to hide. I am going to be late, very late. I am a doctor, and I have got a really important meeting. And I'm a police officer, and I know that everyone has something to hide. Be patient. We'll interview as soon as you are done with him. Hello. 
Good afternoon. Good day. May I give you a flyer? Mm -hmm. Take some more and pass them around. Yeah, sure. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. See you. Hi, how are you? Can I interest you in something? Well, okay. it's all about this center. Okay, see you later. Bye. You know, people seem really engaged. It's great. Plus, nearly all the center stars are getting involved with it. We finally be able to cater for the young people in our community. That's great. I can see you look happy again. Yeah, and it's thanks to my baby brother. Mm. You reminded me of all the things I wanted to do. Look. We made these flyers to encourage people to use condoms. We prevent so many underage pregnancies and dedicated to Aminata's memory. Yeah. They look great. Mm. Who oh, dear me? I need to go right now. I want to hand them out before arriving at the center. Be careful though. You never know how people will react to a young woman talking to kids about sexuality. Oh, come on. It went really well at the party, didn't I? Hmm? I will hand out the leaflets. Why is that? Well, that way you'll be able to concentrate on the grand opening. Okay. I do have a lot to get on with. Thank you. See you later. I think she's turning her clothes on purpose. She's only gotten more spiteful than before. She even demanded Tala to kick me out. <laughs> Can you believe it? Don't worry about it, dear. She will come around eventually. Because Tala is on your side, she wouldn't do anything that would make her and her son fight. Hello. Hi, dear. How are you? <laughs> this is my little handbag. <laughs> What's wrong now, baby? You're even more than you like game. <laughs> What's wrong now, hey? Hmm. Your evil mother-in-law again? Oh my mm. God, she's wearing me out. Hey, my dear, don't let her get you down, you hear? You've got to get your rest. Look after yourself for your next little handbag. <laughs> <laughs> Show me what were you handing out in front of my shop. Huh? Yeah, he told me about this. But I didn't know it was opening today. Ah, yes. Oh, that's good news. But be careful. Not everyone here is ready to talk about those things so openly. I know who will be receptive and who won't. Mm -hmm. Ah, great. Uh, you should definitely get involved in my day, darling. Mm -hmm. No, I really can't. Rokoba will be waiting for me. So let her wait. That's right. Okay, bye-bye. Goodbye, sweetie. Ah, uh, see ya. So sorry for having made you wait. You have got my deposition. Can I go now? We have a few more questions. Did these bandits use any names? Come on, I already told you, no. They were wearing masks and they didn't use any names. They wanted money, that's all. That's strange. Because that's not what your friend told us. Well, I'm telling the truth. I would really love to help you here. But I've got nothing more to say here. So please, can I leave now? Okay then. But don't go anywhere. We will have more questions. Fine. Dr. Molai! Dr. Uh, Molai! Hello, Mr. Tabadio. Ah, hello, Dr. Molai. What on earth are you doing here? Are you now a criminal? <laughs> no, no, no. I just lost my ID card, that's all. It took so long to sort out. And I'm late for a meeting with one of your colleagues at the commission. Yes! I'm aware. I'm aware. <laughs> well then? You can come with me. I live next door. Maybe I could give you some useful advice. You know, I know all the decision makers on the board. That's kind of you, but I'm already late. Come now, come now. Doctor, please wait. I will introduce you to my son, Eddie. No, really? Another time. I really have to go. Ah, uh, it is in your interest, my friend. I'm offering you my help. <laughs> you must know I am a significant financial contributor. The amount I donate to the commission? Surely. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> come on, let's go. Come on. <laughs> Eddie uh, got fantastic exam results. He is going to be a very important and respected person in this country. He is destined for great things. <laughs> I don't doubt you. <laughs> My son would make a great intern for your center. 
He is very passionate uh, about medicine and pregnancy in particular. Isn't that right, Eddie? Uh, what? Yeah. We are not hiring at this moment, and but I'll be glad to look at his resume. So if a position is available, then you will have to take him on. No need to interview other candidates. Is it agreed? Mm. Mm. Okay, then, Eddie, since you are passionate about medicine, what can you tell me about AIDS and treatments available for it? <clears throat> well, it's not complicated. You can catch it from mosquitoes, and you can cure it with vaccine or plants. Actually, I know this guy who can cure it in one week alone. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's a sexually transmitted disease. There are treatments available, but none as yet that can cure it. I really doubt that we ever need a brain dead kid like him as our staff. Oh, now please excuse me. Very well, thank you. <gasps> I thank you very much for your time. Look at this. Day and welcome. Glad to see so many of you. Bravo. Asitan, it's fantastic. <laughs> Dr. Mulai should be here, you know, to see this. <sighs> I wonder what he's up to. His meeting should already be over by now. And he hasn't told me how it went. Ah, don't worry. When he sees this, he will understand how vital this family planning program is for the center, I'm sure. In any case, well done. And to you, youngsters, well done too. Thanks. Thanks. So guys, let's get started. But you actually told me that they had agreed to delay the meeting slightly. I said that they should wait, which they did. But you see, sir, you came here extremely late. You will have to organize another meeting. So can we schedule it for tomorrow or the next few days? I am very sorry, sir, but the members of the commission have busy schedules. It will be very tough. You can call back tomorrow. We will try to organize a meeting within a month. <sighs> ah, so you finally made it, Doctor. I am so sorry for being late, really. Pardon me for having made you wait for nothing, please. Everyone else has left. I'm the last to go. And it's really a shame. Because we felt your plans for the center were rather impressive. Okay, please, I'm going to arrange another meeting so we can go through it in detail. Yes, but the problem is Mr. Tabadio. What's the problem? Well, he called us. He was furious and incandescent. Doctor, you really should have been more diplomatic. Because when he gets angry, it's very difficult to get him to change his mind. Almost impossible. <sighs> oh yes, he even went as far as to suggest we close your health center. There are several methods available to you to avoid unwanted pregnancies. There is oral contraception, a pill which moderates your hormones. Yes? Well, is there anything men can take because it's usually left up to the women to make sure that we don't, you know? Of course, yes. We have condoms. And maybe one day, who knows, there might be a male pill, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Please come in. Sit down. Please make yourself comfortable. Excuse me, please. There you are. Couple have to make these decisions about contraception together. Communication is very important. Mm -hmm. You are destroying our traditions. Life is sacred. You have no right to stop women from conceiving. It isn't about stopping women from having children. It's about placing the pregnancies to ensure the health of the mother and her children. By publicizing contraception like this, you are encouraging sex. You seem to be obsessed. There is no need to be so aggressive. She's the one who is aggressive, forcing these so-called ideas down our throats. Does anyone else have a question? Hmm? Hey, 
Hello, Tala. So, how is the program going? Yeah, great. I'm just taking a little break. Aisha took over for me. It's really great that Emade came to. Emade? Are you telling me she's in the family planning room? Yes. What is she doing there? What's wrong, Tala? Don't you want her to be informed about the family planning? No. It's just a personal matter. She should not be talking to strangers about her sex life. Emade isn't talking about your sex life, okay? She's just learning how to avoid getting pregnant constantly. Oh, I am so late. I was listening to the radio and lost track of the time. I am so late for the grand opening. Is Emade here yet? So you give her the dumb by dad to come here, huh? Oh, good grief. Are you really against the idea of Emade educating herself? Hmm, you're lucky to have her. Trust Emade. She knows what's best for your children. Oh. Well, come with me then. You could learn something yourself, you know. Well, okay. You really need to stop being afraid of Rokoba. Well, let's go join Emade. I have a meeting with Dr. Mulai. Huh? Today? Yes. Well, Mrs. Changari, huh? I'm sorry, really, but... What is that? Well, Dr. Mulaye is not in today. I don't believe it. We were meant to have a meeting. He uh, called me yesterday to confirm it. I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. So what are you telling me? Well, let me book you for a meeting tomorrow morning. Then you will be <sighs> here. Uh, we can it. make room for you. I'm don't very bother. sure. Don't bother. Forget about it. Okay. Hello? Ah, uh, Yaye. What is happening? Um, a meeting with who? What? Mrs. Sangari? Oh no. I will call her back immediately. Hello? Mrs. Sangari? Yes, doctor. Uh, forgive me. Uh, they just told me you came into the center. Yes, I'm rather disappointed. Yes, I forgot to let you know I could not make it. Well, I can see that. I have really been all over the place today. This morning, I lost my temper with the midwives over admin issues and I just forgot to call you and let you know that I could not make our meeting. Seems like you're a bit overwhelmed at the moment, aren't you? Sure, I am not at my best right now. Even so, the center seems to be running smoothly. I saw that you've opened a new family planning program. Yes. Take care. Thank you. Goodbye. Maga! Maga! You can't keep avoiding me like this. I'm not avoiding you. Maga, when I came around your place, you had away in the kitchen. You didn't want to speak to me. You'd come to see Tuli. I had no reason to talk to you. Hey! Let's not play games, come on. You know very well that I came to see you. And I want you to stop hiding behind these silly excuses. What come over you? What came over me is that I had a crazy day. And I just simply have to say what I have to say, that is it. Okay, I'm listening. I went to see your husband at his garage because I was worried about you. And there was a robbery. Tuli knew the bandits. He owes them money. We were both at the police station this morning to be interviewed. I thought I was doing the right thing, protecting you. By promising to Lee I had to keep quiet, but apparently he has been making things up and put me in a really tough spot. He's getting me in trouble with the police. Why didn't you tell me? Are you joking? How can you talk to someone who doesn't want to listen? So then, you mean the pill is not dangerous? No, but it has to be prescribed. You must not start using it without seeing a doctor. Is it true that when you are on your period, you shouldn't even look or talk to boys because you might get pregnant? Uh, well, let's say um, I'll do a presentation next week for you on periods and so on, okay? I'll let you know where and when it will be. All right. So, what's the next my phone? We'll discuss the importance of women's this period. This is crazy. The day is and finally the over. monthly cycle that she I goes through. We will discuss the effect it has on her body uh, and on her emotions. That, uh, postnatake. Mm. Well, Maga might be perfect for it. We could train her. 
Mm, definitely, but firstly, I had have to convince her husband to let her out of the gold-plated prison he locked her in. For example, the pill is very efficient. Actually, you haven't uh, told me how the meeting with the commission went. It also regulates ah. your hormonal balance. <sighs> we didn't get it here. I missed the meeting. What? Yes. What was, well, I made a big mess of it with Mr. Tabiado's son. Say what? Unfortunately, he's really fresh out with the commission. No. <sighs> I think that we have to drop the new manager plan and level three status oh, for Atanga. No. Yes. No, we can't. Ah. <sighs> what? Thank <laughs> you.